and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer. Today we are still in Minecraft, uh, pretty much story time. So this is the second part of the first part. I just remembered I did not do a farewell on the last video. I just went straight into the intro for this one. But yeah, people are always saying like, oh no, your videos are too long. Some of them are too long, some of them are too short. And my, my Hello Miners videos have started getting a little longer and I don't want them to be crazy long. So this is going to be part two. I think part one is probably 30 minutes or so. But yeah, so welcome to this. Last time that we were talking, um, or I was talking, you were listening. That's how the internet works sometimes. I can talk to you, but there's a million of you. And when I reference to just people who watch my videos, there's like four of you. So that's still a lot of people, in my professional opinion. Um, get rid of that, get rid of that. So there. Um, yeah. Let's talk about the book I'm writing. I'm supposed to be finishing writing. Oh my gosh, which is uh, really cool. I, in case you don't know or you're not aware or you haven't watched any of my other videos, first off, shame on you. Second off, <clears throat> I'm really into like secret society, Illuminati type stuff. I find it really interesting. I don't know why, I just do. Secret society, you know, learning. Uh, let me put it this way I'm really into learning about s stuff going on in a storyline as the characters do. Like, that's why I love Gravity Falls, that's why I love Adventure Time, because there's those under telling stories and I'm really excited because Rick and Morty is going to start getting into some of that as well um, I guess that's what they wanted to do in the original part but um, they were like we want to flesh out these characters first which I'm glad they did because I've really grown attached to the Rick and Morty characters and I want to see how that goes but back to me no oh thank god he's wearing armor okay uh... heal heal but yeah, um, I'm writing this book. Pretty much here's the premise of the book. So character, I, again, I wrote this book when I was kind of in a dark place. Um, back when I was kind of making my videos, I started writing it, and uh, yeah. But, um, so this character went to school, everything. College, he goes away to college, doesn't, doesn't cut it out, but he can't tell his parents. So he kind of pretends to go and just, pretty much just steals their money, which is a horrible thing to do to your parents. So he does all that, um, and then, I'm trying to remember, I haven't looked at it in a long time, but I do have to finish it, I'm doing horrible at that right now, but, uh, yeah, so he goes, and his parents are very, like, his dad is very upset when he finds out, and pretty much just disowns him, and is like, I hate you, you're not my son, all that good stuff, so he goes looking for a job, this character, his name's Howard, Howard goes looking for a job, and, uh, he finds this job as a radio station at a radio station, works his way up through the ranks, and becomes a radio DJ. Awesome, good for him, right? He gets to do like scary stories and mm -hmm. tales from the crypt. Um, really cool stuff. So he gets to do that, and he has a lot of fun. And that's all like just backstory to what's going on in the story. So when the story actually starts getting going, finds out his dad's died. Um, he's kind of upset because he feels like he never got to repair that relationship with his papa so he's kind of upset and he's like i need to go home and deal with this he never went home because he was kind of scared of his dad and um, the relationship that he ruined with stealing money from his parents <coughs> and even though he feels successful he he doesn't want his he never wanted to deal with that so now that his dad's gone he feels like he has to go and uh re re-establish his connection with his mom so he goes, and he gets to town, and he realizes, you know, things are kind of different. They've done a lot to update the town. Um, a lot of crazy stuff is going on, including this one really tall building that doesn't seem to fit into the city. This one really tall white building. He says he doesn't know what it's made out of. It's almost like a very, very thin quartz material. Like, he can tell that it's a quartz type material, but at the same time, it's, it's thin and it's sheer, so you can't tell a lot about it. It's very uh, different from other things that he's had. So... Yeah. He's there and he's like, things are kind of weird, da 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 all this stuff. Turns out, later in the book, you find out, there's this, this cult. That, well, let me say. He kind of goes looking through his dad's old stuff while he's getting ready for the funeral. And he finds out that his dad's office is a little askew. His dad was always very OCD, very wanting everything to be militarily in order. That's part of the reason that him and his dad were so different. Everything had to be in order. Well, stuff's kind of out of order. And the more that he looks at how stuff's out of order, it's out of order in a very specific way. 
Um, it's out of order in a way that it's almost wanting him to find something. So when he goes digging and he finds the stuff's out of order, he finds um, references to different things in the city. One of them being the library. He goes to the library. The other thing going to be a diner. He goes to the diner, does all this stuff, and he starts to figure out that there's something going on within the inner workings of the city. You know, that's why people are being kind of weird. Things are different. Is that the social aspect and the social cues of the city are very different. And he meets his character named Ross. And Ross is basically telling him, like, yeah, you know, Ross is the only regular character he's met who seems like just to be regular and human. Ross pretty much tells him, you know, there's some weird stuff going on. And you start to kind of figure out that there's this cult that's taking over the city and telling everyone to act normal because they're looking for something in the hidden hours, kind of hiding. They don't want anyone to know that they're there. Um, any outsiders. This whole city knows that they're there, but they're kind of keeping it a secret because they're kind of brainwashed. And he's trying to figure out kind of what's going on in the city. Uh, turns out, in the end, it was all kind of his fault that they believe that he was sending them broadcasts through the radio, through his radio show. Because he's been, been this big, like, nationwide radio broadcaster type thing. And uh, he, they believe that he's been sending them messages through the radio of where to look for their deity, their god. And it ends up being underneath his childhood home, which is that city. And they've been digging, drilling, you know, uh, brainwashing people. And there's these these monsters. You find out that the people aren't just brainwashed. They've been replaced with these monsters that are wearing, like, human skin to look like these people. But they're actually these horrible monsters. And it's like, maybe... Because at first he's like, oh, it's crazy that these people think that I told them what the, where this thing is. But the more he looks, he's like, there is something really going on in this city. Something supernatural. So he goes and it, like all this stuff happens and crazy stuff. They're trying to find this god type thing. It kind of puts together a lot of stuff that I enjoy in books and in movies and in TV shows. Is it has that one? It has that underlying theme that there's something more happening around the town. B. There's characters who are greatly damaged beyond repair. Um, or what what seems to be beyond repair, I should say. It has Cthulhu-like beasts and monsters and things like that and references to that type of lore. And it has, like, Illuminati-type references, things like that. But there is some bigger game going on government-wise, socially-wise. But, yeah, I am I enjoyed writing it. Um, it'll come out someday. Maybe I'll, I'll... If you guys want, put in the comments, like, in the description below. All that good stuff. If you want to get some chapters to that. I leaked some of the first chapters, like, the first, I think, four or five chapters online somewhere. But they're going to be really difficult to find for you. If you want, I can let you get some of the first couple chapters there. See, give you a little, give you a little taste. See what it tastes like. To see uh, that, that that book. Because I, I have worked really hard on it. I know a lot of my friends have said that they like it. But I don't trust them. You know who I do trust? The internet. Because the internet hates everything. And if the internet says that they do like it. Then you know I have to believe you. Because there's a million of you. And you're all mean. Let's make another villain. That's not a villager. Just a floating zombie baby. That's a, not a villager. That's a regular zombie. That's a villager. That's a spicy meat of ball. Okay, cool. I got two. And then I also have 11. That is sick. That means that I have... I only used six eggs and I got two villagers. Nice. The, I think the average amount is like every one in every eight zombie eggs is a uh, villager. So getting two out of six is awesome. I also think that that statistic is very incorrect. Because I've tried to get them, and I've hatched thousands of eggs, and out of all those thousands, I've found, like, one or two. So, there's mm -hmm. that. Who's here? Oh, it's my fiancé. Okay, my darling, my love, my beautiful princess. I'm a romantic. Oh my gosh, I got hit by a zombie. Go in here, I'm gonna use the rest of these eggs because I know I have about 80, less than 80 in here, and I want to get that right up to how many I can have. Was not hurt himself? Here we go. Are you healed yet? No, these sheep are always the sheep, they're, they're not supposed to be smart enough to escape. And like to run towards doors and stuff, but I feel like they are. Because it seems like every time I open that door, immediately one or two tries to get out. And luckily there's enough and I get the eggs so frequently that I can just kill them. But you know, still, kind of makes me upset. 
I'm so happy with that maze. I want to do more stuff with it. Um, it leads to a big open area. I don't know if I put that in the video recently, but it leads to this big open area, and I want to make that the actual, like, Temple of Cthulhu that you go into and make another big Cthulhu sculpture, even though that was a pain to make. Oh, I don't want to do that again. But it's for the good of the server, it's for the good of the maze, it's for the good of the city, it's for the good of the channel. So, I'm kind of happy about that. But we'll get that going. And everything. Also kind of upset, because I did some drawings today. I'm doing this thing because they, I don't know if you saw, but they're, they're rebooting Ben 10 to be this just horrible children's program. It's literally on the same vein as the, they did with Powerpuff Girls and Teen Titans. If you like those shows, awesome. I'm happy that you found something you enjoy, but they are just so drastically far from what they originally were that it's like painful. Like it's legitimately just painful to watch some of my favorite childhood memories and characters just be destroyed in such a way. And they're doing the same thing with Ben 10, which is one of my favorite shows. But um, I meant to upload these drawings to the Let's Draw Stuff channel, and I completely forgot that I was logged into Below Average. So they're uploaded to Below Average if you want to see them. Um, if you like the drawings, if you like watching that type of stuff, when did I move my mouse? Then um, check out the Let's Draw Stuff channel. You can go to tinyurl.com slash let's draw stuff, or I can put a link in the description. But I'm drawing the Ben 10 stuff. Here's, um, look at that. Look at that, that is upgrade. So the video of me actually drawing this character is up on this channel unfortunately um but yeah here's wild mutt look at that that came out really well i'm really happy with the wild mutt but i'm the most happy with rib jaws because just look at rib jaws look how ba that is i'm gonna hold that up again so you can see it but yeah look how ba that is i'm gonna put up the final drawings maybe even with color which i don't do a lot just because it takes a long time to do that in photoshop and i would much rather just move on to the next drawing but I'm probably going to post them with color all in one photo, make like a poster type thing, a Ben 10 poster, um, when I finish all 10 drawings. But up until then, I'm not um, uploading any of the completed pictures. Did I get this guy or no? Okay, he's shaking. I couldn't tell if I healed him or not because I thought I had two golden apples. And then I saw that I have one left after I made two zombies. So I'm guessing I had three. Close. Close. Okay. Heal, please. I heard that if you put a bed in the same vicinity as them, they'll heal faster. I don't know if that's true or not. But I put a bed there. Because it can't hurt. Ah, uh, yes. I made this so that I could look at all of my villagers and stuff. But it works more as, like, where skeletons spawn and just kill all my villagers. But I made this so that I could look and look at my entire place all in one go. Look at that. Recently, um, I, it wasn't in a video. I wish I was recording. But uh, for some reason, a thousand zombies all glitched into this area. They didn't come into here where the villagers are because there's doors. So they perceive it as a home. And I think it's because it's well lit. But like all across here was full of zombies. Um, all over here was full of zombies. And they were all down there. And it was just a nightmare because I was like, they're going to kill all my villagers. But the system that I put in here actually worked really well um it, it worked really well in the way that none of my villagers were hurt the only thing that i really had to watch out for was like a creeper spawned here and a creeper spawned over there and i had a couple i just went in and i killed them real quick but normally what i would do is i would just suicide because since there's no one in the area um they'll all just die like they'll reset and since they glitched in they would reset and not be able to come back in they glitch out and they'd be dead. Or they wouldn't die, but they'd just disappear. Because there's no players nearby. Unfortunately, this time when it happened, I was doing a maze run. And I tried not to panic. But I, I should have been recording. I didn't record because I wanted to test it. But how I redid the entire maze over here. I'm dying. I, um... I did a maze run, so I had a bunch of people in there. So every time I died, there were still zombies. And it was terrifying. Because they were all here. And I was like, they're going to get in. They're going to kill all my stuff. And they didn't. No, the system worked really well. The Iron Golem wandered around and slowly killed all of them off, and it was great. I didn't expect it to work so well. But yeah, half of these are horses. Oh, hey, it's a villager. It's a boy. Oh, I can't get in there to save you. I'll have to wait till the other one heals, and then I can let him in. 
because that one I want. Since he's a regular villager, I want him in the breeding center so they can breed and make children. Delicious, delicious children. I can't die because if I die, the one that's healing is going to disappear. Sucks, right? I have to learn that the hard way. I would be healing a bunch of zombie villagers and then I would die. And when you die, like I just said a second ago, if you die and there's no one around to keep those zombie villagers refreshed, they just disappear. And since, and same thing with regular zombies, is that they would just be gone, and they'd be healing, and then they'd be disappeared. What are you doing? You get out of here, you sneaky little lamb chop, you. I said lamb chop, forgetting that this is a sheep, so that made a lot of sense. A lot more sense than I wanted it to make. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. If it's a librarian, I'm going to keep on recording for like 10 more minutes after. If it's not a librarian, unfortunately we're going to cut this, the series, this one short, because it is a two-parter. So I've been recording for like an hour, a half, two hours. And plus my car should be done anytime now. And I gotta go get that. I don't know how I'm gonna get that because it's really far away and I don't have my car. Ooh wee. Getting bored now. I'm gonna walk away and hope that he stays there. I'm gonna go see if I have any more healing and I can try to make another zombie while I wait. Because I just made a promise to you guys and I gotta keep up that promise. I mean, who am I? Who am I if I don't keep that promise? Two, four, six, oh, one. Oh, I saw in 1.10, because this server here is still on um 1.9. But I saw in the 1.10, which first off is dumb. Because 1.10 is what it is. 1.10 is just 1.1. For those of you who don't understand fractions, like anyone working at, Mic at Microsoft or Mojang, um, 1.10 is just 1.1. So you've literally recreated something that you've already made, which could have been really cool if you would have made like just, we've updated everything, all the zombies look different, all the skeletons look different, everything looks different. <clears throat> or like reinstituting, uh, making like servers and realms free, or dropping the price on them, or doing stuff like that, or just things like that, I would have understood. Because it's like, oh I get it, they're redoing 1.1. But the fact that you're just calling it 1.10 instead of just Minecraft 2, I understand. You're not ready to be Minecraft 2 yet. You're still on Minecraft 1 point. But, seriously, that hurt a lot. I hit my leg too hard. Um, 1.10 is just 1.1. It's not anything. Why don't you should just call it Minecraft version 1. Minecraft 1 version 1. That would have made a lot more sense. That actually would have made a lot of sense. Very, very much sense. That villager's going crazy in there. Um, but no, you call it 1.10, 1.10, which doesn't make any sense at all. And I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm more upset about it than I should be. I'll say that. I'm more upset about it than I should be. I don't know why I'm upset about it, but I am. I should name you. I want to get a name tag because you're taking a long time. What should I name him? Uh, Clancy. I'm really feeling Clancy. This is what I said in the other part, is how I always end up breaking my anvil. Is I do something dumb, like making a name tag, and then I come back, and it's broken, and I'm gonna, I put that name tag in my inventory, I'm gonna come back, and he's gonna be a regular villager now. It's gonna be a big waste of time, right? Yep, I was right about everything. Go in there. Gotta close this, I don't want them getting out. There we go. Now comes the hard part. Get them in there. Oh, he's in a corner, you idiot, you dumb dumb. You big nosed piece of Garbo. Yay, he did it. He did it on his own. Get out of this corner. Go like the other guy did. Just run. Just run out. Just run out. Go. Please, leave me be. Yay, okay, cool. So they're all out, awesome. Into the breeding center they go. Now I really wanna make another one. I have those 11 eggs. I should just use the 11 eggs. 
but I have to make a potion. That takes a second. I don't want to do that. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take like 30 seconds, but that's 30 seconds too long, and I want to go do other stuff. But I guess that's it. I promised you, um, I said if it's a librarian, we'll stay and we'll heal it and we'll do a bunch of stuff. We'll play for like 10 more minutes. And if not, then I was going to go. But it's not one, and I think that I've taken up enough of your time. Um, hey. You're the best. i got to play Shell Shock Live 2. Do the adieu. Zero, one, two, three, or whatever, something like that. Um, oh, yes, I'm going to put this up while we're waiting. This is all the people who are playing on the server currently. Um, <clears throat> they're joining, leaving, joining, leaving. All this great stuff. Oh, there's a Deadpool uh, skin in there. Oh, Stuff Junk's on. Didn't even see that. Guy, na guy named Steve. Glad to see you. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. You are the best. Comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, comment below if you'd like to see more of that script I was talking about or the book I was talking about. Um, yeah, I'd really enjoy some feedback on that, but, uh, you know, it's the internet, people are mean, so I get scared about putting stuff out there. But hey, you're the best. I appreciate you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other channel. Um, easiest way to do that is through tinyurl.letsdrawstuff.com. You're the best. Bye. Hello?